So let's talk a little bit more specifically about what these practices are. So in, in Shiva practices, we can say are basically just three. Meditation, contemplation, and inquiry. Now, meditation, uh, all, all three of these actually can be Shakti practices if you're doing them in a Shakti way. Um, because Shiva, uh, Bhav, that aspect of things is very subtle. So the Shiva form of meditation is uh, simply relaxing into pure being. So in this kind of meditation, there's no technique involved. It's simply letting all things, just leaving all things to their natural functioning, not pursuing anything, not pushing anything away, just relaxing and letting everything just be as it is until you just drop into this profound stillness and silence so deep that not the loudest noise could disturb it. So uh, the great meditation teacher, Adya Shanti writes about this in his book, True Meditation. And that true meditation, though he doesn't use tantric terminology, it is totally a description of uh, meditation of the Shiva variety. Um, what he's calling true meditation is just in, in tantric tradition, this, the, the more Shiva variety of meditation, um, as opposed to meditations that utilize techniques you know, because as long as there's a technique, as long as there's a doing, then it's a Shakti practice. And that's all good, right? Because we want both. And in fact, um, meditation with technique can and should usually precede meditation without technique. Because the technique-less meditation of relaxing into pure being somehow happens much more effectively when preceded by the techniques um, that, that I'm you know, that, that are taught in, in classes all over the world, you know, whether it's um, focusing on your breath, becoming aware of your body, um, concentrating on the point between the eyebrows, um, you know, visualizing a, a light within you. There, there's just infinite, you know, just so many, so many, so many uh, meditation techniques. And this again is the complementarity of Shiva and Shakti. When you do the meditation techniques first and then let yourself just relax into pure being into the stillness and silence somehow you're able to relax much more effectively much deeper when you invite that after you've done those techniques so actually doing in this kind of yogic way can lead us to undoing can make possible a deeper undoing um, which is the true meditation or the or the shiva state as it were not that it's a state really um and that's important actually that you're not trying to attain a particular state of consciousness in meditation because if you are you're still doing to relax into pure being you have to stop trying to attain any particular state you really even have to stop being a meditator <laughs> meaning to say you have to let go of that self-image of a mental image of the practice or what the practice should look like or what you expect it to look like. All that has to just be released. Easier said than done, perhaps. Um, still, to do all, uh, uh, a meditation with technique and then not let go of the technique and let yourself just be is like making a meal and then not eating it. You know, that in the just being, that's where the, 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 the fruit gels, as it were. It's a bit of a mixed metaphor. <laughs> um, the result is able to show up. That's what I mean. So also in the, you know, Shiva side, I mentioned inquiry. Now, inquiry, when it's, when it's kind of thinking something through, is a Shakti practice. Uh, but it can be a Shiva practice when it's simply asking a question that leaves you in silence. So the famous example for, from uh, Ramana Maharshi is simply asking, what am I? Or what is it 
that is uh, behind this word I? What, what, it, what do I mean when I say the word I? You know, in the simplest form, the best form, that's the most effective form in English is certainly just what am I or what is me? And for it to be a Shiva practice, you ask the question without seeking an answer in words. You just ask the question and let yourself experience the answer, which might be a perfect blank or stillness or silence. And that is the answer. You know, a lot of people, they ask the question, what am I? And they just draw a blank and they don't realize that that's the answer. That is stillness and silence. You just haven't um, come to fully appreciate it or experience its depth yet. If it just feels like a blank, boring, you know, 